Morena! Welcome back. Good morning. Um, today's story is Toby Goes Cycling. This was a present for my younger son Toby. And uh, this is a story that follows Toby the dog. Sit back and enjoy. Toby loved adventures. His home was in the city. He loved his sisters, Georgia and Harriet. He also had fun with his dad when he came home from work. He never knew what escaped his uh, escapade his money would have take would take him on. There's mummy dreaming up adventures. Today he watched his mummy wheeled out her big bicycle with his touring bar with his touring basket up front. He watched her put his special cushion in it. He gasped as she whisked him up in the air and plopped him down onto it. Toby wasn't all that keen on being whisked around on the bike, but he was keen on mummy, so he put on a special doggy brave face. Out the door they went, bumpity bump, over the kid. He doesn't look like he's enjoying this adventure much. He raised his nose to the air and took a deep breath. Oh, oh, the wind whistled through his furry beard as the sun warmed the black fur on his back. Toby relaxed a little bit. The cars on the road whished past and stared at Toby and his mummy. Toby stared back, feeling the reassuring hand of mummy patting him from behind. He could see the park in the distance from his fabulous vantage point. Toby gasped again as he was lifted out of the basket to run free in the park. The smells were so exciting that Toby wet his pants with glee at every tree he ran to. Dogs do that. Today's uh, Toby's mummy knew a lot of people and she loved to talk. They would often meet up with one of her friends and their dogs. Toby didn't care much for other dogs. Sometimes he let them know by growling at them. <coughs> mummy got cross at him. He didn't like that. Uh oh. The park had a big river running through the middle of it. Toby didn't care much for the water. His mummy did and always threw sticks into it. Other big annoying dogs would hurtle past and splash him. He didn't like that. Oh, there he is. Toby's mummy loved to drink coffee, especially at coffee shops. Toby didn't care much for cough, uh, coffee or coffee shops. He had to get tied up to chairs or tables so he wouldn't wander off and bother other coffee lovers. He didn't like that. <laughs> A ball and chain. The park was a big scary place at night, but during the day with the sun shining through the trees, it was one of Toby's favourite places. <gasps> Toby often met other dogs at the park. Some were smaller and he would strut straight over to them, showing off his impressive girth. Some were the same size and he would approach in slow motion, gauging their reaction. <gasps> Some were bigger, so he would lie flat on the ground like a sheepdog waiting for them to come to him. Once they finally met, they would run around and around in circles, almost joining at the nose and bottom. And playing with friends and running about can tire a dog. Toby looked up at the basket on the bike. Mummy looked down at Toby. She nodded her head and gathered him up in her arms and put him on his special cushion. It looks like a big doggy party. Toby sat up straight in his basket knowing exactly where he was going. He breathed a big sigh. Bumpity bump. Over the curbs they went to, a, to another one of his favourite places. Home. Here's Dad, Georgia and Harriet. 
After his adventure, Toby loved to climb onto the couch and collapse in the crook of his daddy's legs and fall fast asleep. Till the next one. Oh, Toby. What a little rascal. That's us for this week. Have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Thank you.